Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A couple of days ago, Rwandan government decided to kick out Chinese nationals. They had a company in Rwanda and the company was abusing their employees. So the Rwandan government decided to kick them out. This is something that we've seen a lot of African countries too. Kenya has done it, Angola has done it, Congo has done it, Rwanda has done it, many other African countries have done it. Now, some of them have also deported other foreign nationals. For example, there have been cases where French mercenaries and French people are causing havoc in Africa they are deported back. Belgian nationals have been deported. This is something that pretty much all the African countries do. Every time a foreigner does something, they deport him back. And after they deport them back, then it is reported as a win. As in this case, Paul Kagame came out, he said very powerful words that, you know, we're not going to allow this, and we kicked them out, and then a lot of people were celebrating it. If you go to Twitter, a lot of Africans are saying that how great it is, and this is how they should be done, blah, blah, blah. Amazing job, right? But... There's an issue with it, and the issue is that deporting somebody is not a punishment. That's not enough. These people abused somebody. They should be arrested. They should be prosecuted. And then, if they did something that requires them to be jailed, they should be jailed. And they should be made to pay to the people who they abused. They should pay all the money that it takes to prosecute them. Because deporting somebody is not a punishment. For example, I go to Indonesia today, I do something horrible over there, and the government arrests me. I think that I'm going to go to jail, I think I'm going to be punished. Then they come to me and they're like, you know what, we're going to deport you back to Somalia. Do you think I'm going to cry? Do you think I'm going to be like, oh my days, how dare they deport me, it's, this is sad. No, I'm going to be celebrating it, because I get to go back home. I don't have to be in jail, I don't have to pay anybody, I don't lose anything. So it's not a punishment. So we should be demanding our governments. First of all, we should be asking them, how is this even allowed to happen? Second of all, we should be asking, why didn't they arrest them? Why didn't the people who were abused get sufficient compensation for it? Why are our government so weak when it comes to foreigners? Why are we afraid to prosecute foreigners? Because at the end of the day, if I would today go to Rwanda and I would do what these Chinese nationals would do, do you think Rwanda is going to deport me? I hate to say this, but I think I'll be in jail and I think I'll be punished. But foreigners, they get different treatment. And this same thing goes for mines, right? Every now and then you hear the same thing that, you know, there's this mining company. I've heard this said about Canadian company, Belgian company, French companies. You know, they, they do something horrible. For example, they employ children and then they get caught. And then they're like, oh, that company lost the mining rights. That's not enough. These people destroyed children's life. They should be arrested. They should be put in jail for decades for what they did. Even the local people who helped it happen and the foreigners who owned the company. All of them should be round up. All of them should spend decades in jail. And if the people who own that company are not there, then we should take that court case to the EU court, to the Canadian court, to the Chinese court, wherever. We should demand that their governments also take action against whatever that company did. Losing a mining right is not a punishment for employing children. Same thing, when these foreigners abuse our people, deporting them is not sufficient. We should demand that they be properly punished, and we should demand that everybody who suffered from their actions would be paid. Same thing, for example, with these oil companies. They destroy nature, they should be prosecuted for it. They should be made to pay. What is this weakness? But this is just my point. It's just something I've noticed. So every time I hear that people are deported, I don't really get excited because I think that it's not enough for me. I want proper punishment. And so far, I've only gotten it once. There was a case earlier this year in Rwanda where they chilled a Chinese man for 20 years because he was whipping his employees. And there's a video of it online if you want to see it. But they did chill him for 20 years. And I think that's a good sign. So it was shocked to me. Earlier this year they were jailing people and now they went back to deporting people. All of these people should be jailed. Anyways, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.